crafty creations i've got my beautiful bubby here and we're going to do our tutorial on a tiger face uh, which is a very popular design that you'll probably use lots and lots um my design is purposefully asymmetrical so it allows you the opportunity to not have to panic about it looking perfect if that makes sense it's okay that it's got um one line on one side and not on the other, which you'll see when we do it. Um, it's also great for uh, in a rush. The design will is achievable within three minutes, three to five minutes, depending how much you jazz it up. Um, and that's about it. So let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start by loading a sponge with some uh, white paint. Not too much because we're not going to use that much. All the brands will be in the labels at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna not cover the whole eye for this one, but we're gonna create the eye line. Well done, baby. So we're just gonna go into the eye and then up at a 45 degree and just blend it out a bit. And then the other side into the eye and up at a 45 degree and blend it out a bit. There we go. And then for the muzzle, we're gonna go in on the nose and bring it out and in on the nose and bring it up and then join that up and blend it out then we're going to get a well we use a gold you can use a yellow and an orange we've put ours into a split cake uh, rainbow cake so we've got one third orange and two thirds gold and the reason for this is now we're going to gently spritz our sponge or our cake whichever method you prefer and we're going to place the sponge into the cake dragging like you would for any rainbow cake until it's loaded properly and then you'll get two thirds gold one third orange and this is going to make your job a bit quicker because what we're going to do is pinch up so we're not touching the orange and we're going to apply the gold first close your eyes darling apply the gold and then apply the orange to the outer the outer like so and then just blend back in with the gold got excess hair today what's going on with you mm -hmm. so it's a very subtle orange to gold that we do If you want it to be striking, obviously apply a lot more orange to the outer and don't blend in quite as much. Go try. Like so. Now we're going to load our, uh, well, our round brush. This is a painty pal, size five. And we're going to load it with black. Now your black when you do tigers should be of a slightly wet consistency, not so much that it drips, but enough that it um, will glide nice and smoothly on the face without too much trouble. Yep, not back. There we go. And then we're going to take our line and we're going to start thin and we're going to push to thick and back up to thin. And um, we're going to further up, we're going to start thin, push to thick and release. And then from there, we're going to wiggle inwards and pull down. And what we might do, because she's got a slightly bigger forehead than some children have, we're going to go thin to thick to thin, just to finish that forehead up a little bit. <clears throat> then we're going to do the muzzle. 
So we're gonna go thin to thick, pulling it round into the mouth. Not into the mouth, obviously. <laughs> Relax your face, darling. Well done. Thin to thick, pulling it to the mouth line. We're going to do our nose. Sit up. Relax. And like that. Just drag it out to the lips. And very gently, if you're doing lips, line them as well like that. We're going to do our lines. So we go from the muzzle for our lines. Um, and we're going to Take it from the muzzle thin, push down and wiggle, and then pull up. And as you pull up, twist your brush, and it will stop too much. Um, it, will, it, will, it will allow the paint to really uh, set into the surface and not end up with the, 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 like the dots and the blanks that you normally get. And then we'll go again a bit thin, wiggle, and pull up a bit thin, wiggle and pull up to the line where you've done the gold, which should be your mouth line mostly. And then on the other side, we'll repeat that again. So from the muzzle, we'll go thin to thick and pull up. And then not from the muzzle, we'll go thin to thick and pull up. And if there's any line you're not happy with, you can just fill in the gap. And then thin to thick and pull up. And then what we'll also do is apply some dots for texture. So I normally put dots of three and then we'll join our two muzzles, uh, our top line, sorry, and our muzzle here. And then we'll apply some dots here where there's gapping. They don't have to be even dots. Like that. I think we'll just pop in a couple of dots coming down from that one as well, like that. Now, before we finish with the black, <laughs> you show your face off, I normally get a smaller brush just because I like the precision, precision it has, but you can use your same brush that you had. And we're just going to go into the muzzle, we're going to push down, go slightly out and flick in, push down, go slightly out, flick in. Push down, go slightly out and flick in to create that scalloped muzzle. Do it on the other side. Turn your head towards me, darling. Push down, slightly out and flick in. Push down, slightly out and flick in. Push down on the brush, slightly out and flick in. And now you've got your scalloped muzzle. Nice and quick. No qualms, no problems. We're going to load up a white brush, or a brush with white I should say. You alright? Yeah. I'm going to get a nice thick creamy load. Might take a while to get the activation right on a white. That's not surprising. This has been activated once today already, but I think it just got a little bit too dry. There we go. So we've got a nice thick load on our size five brush or three or two or whichever brush you're going with. To be honest, it's personal preference. I like thick lines, so I use a thick brush. And then head done. And then we're just gonna apply some dots into the lines like that. So apply. different sizes, different amounts. Different clusters. Purposefully keeping it asymmetrical and different and then apply a few dots 
where necessary to your dot clusters to give it a bit of further oomph. Did I get paint on you? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get our Managed to get myself all messy. Yeah. <laughs> Clean up my brushes there. Great. Then we'll get. Can you keep your head still for me, Dan? Thank you. What we're going to do with our brush loaded, <clears throat> we're going to um, start about there and we're going to push into the mouth in a reverse teardrop and again about there and push into the mouth in a reverse teardrop to create two fangs and then if you want to you can quickly just line those fangs with a thin brush There we go. We can do, you can add glitter. Mm -hmm. Or what we prefer to do is add a bit of liquid bling, don't we? Yeah. I love liquid bling. So we're just going to add some little dots of gold, liquid bling, just to finish the design off. Maybe in areas where it feels like it's lacking something. Perhaps you've got too much of black in one area. Or you just want to overlay the bling like we do. Keep some around the eyes. Not too close to the eyes, obviously. And that's it. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more videos like this one and we'll see you next time. Bye!